Cork's number one for hit music, Red FM. That's Ellie Goulding and Starry Eyed. Personally, I'm Starry Eyed right now. Oh. <laughs> because facing I didn't me, do anything. No. <laughs> you, you, well, you, were just, a little bit. you were just doing your press ups again. I'm warming up, warming up. Warm up, warm up he's ready. Yeah. It's a big moment. Here we Rush go. Time. Live on Red FM. No. All right, look, we're just, we'll do the run through now, yes. Pat, okay? Yeah. And when we do this for real. Yes. I just want you to be up and at him, all right? right. You know, none of, like the last time we were in here, I, it was just very lax a days ago. <laughs> How are you, sir? It's oh, a pleasure to give me time to talk to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm down for the festival in Castle Martyr, which we're out, outside it. And that's the plug over with now. No, it's not. We'll get more than that out. Don't worry. Um, it's a trad music festival the starting festival tonight. starting tonight. John Spillane is opening the festival tonight. So it's... It's great. We were out pitching the tents last night and getting ourselves ready for it now. And getting the buns and Had the mallet. Had the mallet and the pins and the whole lot and everything. And now we have the new ones from Halfords now that pop up and they have about 25 inside it. <laughs> Already in there. Exactly. It's the tent <laughs> and crowd. Fantastic. John's plans tonight. What else have you got? We've got Stockton's Wing on tomorrow night. And Friday night, which is Stockton's Wing. And then we've got uh, Frankie Gavin and the new Dylan and on Saturday night and the Abbey Cayley band on Sunday then kicking off so we're going to have Dancing at the Crossroads all slide Would you not get Stockton's to bring more than just the wing? Not very <laughs> cheap of them I think it's great to see them there at all Isn't it? At their age the crowd it's, it's fantastic I mean I'm looking forward to seeing that gig that's the, the highlight for me because uh, I was a huge fan of them when I was younger you know the whole lot and, and uh, I did play with them Many many years ago on the bell table in Limerick, myself and John Kenny did a couple of gigs with them around that time, kind of charity stuff and that. Just as they were kind of wrapping up, so uh, it's great to have them back. It's great. Cool. Yeah, excellent. That's in it. your bar in Castle Martyr. Yeah, we have a marquee at the back, yeah, which well, is uh, nice. stuffing in the crowd, so it'll be good crack. I'd say it will, yeah. John Spillane tonight will give away a couple of pairs of tickets to that gig what? In, in a little while. I know. <laughs> Who's going to oh, make sure they're giving away tickets? Free! Jesus, that's that's awesome. this. <laughs> uh, and I know what, probably what question I'll ask now, but I'll, I'll relate it to um, uh, Mary Ann, who is our financial controller here. I love that, financial <laughs> controller. There's, there's, there's She's certain... the one I passed there. She, did, she was counting the tuppences and the tippences. That's it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Uh, did you notice her keeping her eyes cast downwards while you passed? Did she... Yeah, she's the one in the green jersey. The one in the green. Yeah, the Limerick colours. The Limerick, Limerick green. green. She uh, said to me today, where is this? In fact, everybody thinks you're a Limerick man, I think. Yeah, I just, I've been there a long time. I've been, uh, started working with John Kenny back in 86 in Limerick. I went to art college around that time as well. And I've been there since. And you've been Limerick Man of the Year. A Limerick, well, I've been nominated. Oh, never, never quite made the grade. Never quite got, I got tipped Man of the Year twice. Ah, hey. <laughs> but you were born in Turles? Born in Turles in Tipperary, yes. And yes. brought up in Turles? Yes. Indeed. And then went to college in Limerick? In Limerick, and I've been there since, yeah. And I suppose with the John Kenny connection and all the rest, people just associate you Everybody with... Everybody assumes I'm a Limerick Man, yeah. But when, when the hurls when, are out... When the small ball is on the field, yeah. I definitely, oh God, yeah, that, there's no question of it. Watching the under-21s last night, Tipperary beat Clare. Fantastic game. And the game against uh, oh last weekend against last Galway. weekend Scott unbelievable game. unbelievable they're not out of the championship yet no until no, they no, meet Cork of no. course but should Cork are meeting Kilkenny isn't that right I'm sure yeah actually that's easy easy yeah, yeah. easy, <laughs> easy. we we'll see we we'll see oh, Cork we we'll see Cork well I tell you it, it, it's better meeting them in the semis I think than the final. Yeah. Uh, or so the suggestion is going. And if you're going to beat them... No, I mean, you meet Kenny any time there's dirty but, in the final. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love it. So come here, Mary Ann, our financial controller from Limerick. And she says to me today, I tell her, Pat Short's yeah. coming in. See, a Limerick or tip man? I said, oh, I think he's tip man. She says, tip can keep him. Yeah. I'll meet her on the way out. Don't worry, I'll, I'll keep me. What was that about? I don't know. Where is she? And, and I She's know, sour out. And I noticed it. she went away for the lunch. Yeah. As soon as you arrived as well. well. I get her car outside or something, <laughs> temporary style, we'll sort her out. We'll sort her out. <laughs> Pat, stay with me, we'll talk to you more in a moment.